Hey guys, thank you for watching. Um, during this video, I would like to show you guys how you can how you can install Monkey Data Warehouse, and we can start with a, a new lake house. And for this demo, I'm going to call it the Monkey Lake. Click Create. Takes a few seconds. It's quite fast actually. Um, so this one is empty. No tables, no files. I'm going to create a new folder. So sticking with the medallion, so bronze, silver, and gold. If you would like to change this in a landing or a raw folder and just uh, find a replace to all the code, make sure bronze isn't in there yet anymore. Sorry, um, but it should be fairly easy to do that. Um, Adventure works, which is the new source we're going to add. And then uh, let's upload a file. Um, in your download package, there are a couple of sample files i'm just going to upload the uh, the customer csv file okay i'm going to turn this one into a delta table i'm doing this manually because the uh, run book that's attached also that in your zip file um you're not allowed to upload any power bi uh, notebooks power BI reports notebooks or reporting service reports so I'm going to show that to you later. Um, but that starts with branch prefix for the input folder, and then AdventureWorks, which is a source name, and then customer. So I'll have that one run in a few seconds. Let's go back to the um, uh, workspace. So if you click Upload, and you see here that it's currently limited to just Power BI and uh, a report for SSS and an Excel sheet, which is really strange and unfortunate. So um, you've seen the uh, the daily run ADF pipeline in other videos. And you do need to recreate that one manually, but of course you can you know get the code snippets out in Visual Studio Code and copy them in Expression. Uh, same goes for the notebook. So the notebook is there to just um, dynamically process all the files in your lake house and then convert them into delta tables with a proper naming. Uh, so we just did that manually. Um, but keep in mind those two things you do need to do manual um, after this video. So the file has been transformed to a delta table. Uh, we do need a warehouse. I'm going to call it monkey data warehouse for this uh, demo. Keep in mind the monkey data warehouse and monkey lake. Um, so the monkey data warehouse is will now fetch metadata from the monkey lake instead of the demo lake, which was the name I used in previous demos. Um, so I do have a script. Uh, the script attached in your zip file uh, contains all the DDLs for Monkey Data Warehouse, so all the database objects for the logging and Monkey Data Warehouse schemas. Um, so what we're now going to do, show you guys, this one is completely empty. Um, new query. I did copy the DDL scripts already in my memory. So and now we're going to go do find and replace. It's called demo lake, and I got to Basically, with monkey and lake. This is just a comment, but um, just to remind you, place all, run, and execute. And I did copy the um, data warehouse testing script, which also attached in your uh, zip file, which comes in handy when you need to generate things. And also for this demo, uh, fetch the new metadata and then regenerate all the objects which is really cool. So let's see, this one has succeeded in 20 seconds. So in 20 seconds, it just created everything that we need. Fabric is now noticing that there are structural changes in here. And if you now open up the logging schema, you see that we actually have the logging table and the logging views. So this one's empty and we're going to start with fetching the metadata from the new uh, monkey lake which is the new name which is inside the same uh, workspace we just uh, created this case is 15 20 seconds or something there we go and now we can generate things again and like i said in different videos regenerate means uh, it's going to drop everything first then generate it again and just to make them simple there's a single store procedure that does both which is really cool so nine seconds um, and you can see in here that I'm going to hit refresh. There it is. Adventure works. Views in the table, which is really great. So 
right now we just set up the lake house we, we attach the warehouse to it so the warehouse is fetching the lake house metadata in this case the delta table that we did um, convert manually from based on the csv file um, everything set you can start processing you can start adding more sources if you have any trouble um, setting things up or you have a question please let me know just send me an email um, like I said before, um, you do need to uh, create a manual, uh, manually create a new uh, notebook for processing the uh, Lakehouse files, and you do need to create that ADF pipeline yourself. But of course, depending on your scenario and depending on the setup of your Lakehouse, you can tweak things a little bit. Um, so thank you for watching um, and have a nice day. Bye bye.